Hello, welcome guys to another video. In the previous video, we learned about how to bring images into the backgrounds. Let's now learn about the paddings, margins, and borders in Telvin CSS. So first, uh, let's check up whether our watcher is running or not. Yeah, so our watcher is running. And let me comment down the previous code save it and check it on the browser it's fine so padding and margin uh, they both are uh, almost having the same utility classes in Telvin CSS with the difference of that for padding we use P and for margin we use M for margin we use M so that is the only difference in Telvin CSS uh, let's check out what we have. Uh, we have p0, p-0 means padding 0, px-0 means padding on the x-axis, padding left and right uh, are 0 and we have py-0 which means padding on the x-axis, padding top and bottom are uh, 0, px and then we have p-top, we have padding top we have padding right zero we have padding bottom zero we have padding left zero and padding px padding from all four sides one px then we have padding on the x axis and dash px means padding on the uh, x axis and left and right are one px and padding on the y axis are px about one px so again we have padding top 1px padding right 1px padding bottom 1px padding uh, left 1px and the same way we have all these things in margins as well so if you learn about the paddings that is okay uh, for the margins that will work exactly the same for the margins uh, then coming down we have uh, about hundreds of utility classes for each type for example if you want to give padding uh, top and bottom about uh, 3 so we have the here py-3 except we have one difference in between padding and margin that is like the auto section in margin we have the auto as well for example if we go to margin in margin we have margin x auto and margin y auto yeah we have this section extra in margins if we want to give margin all sides auto we can use m dash auto if you want to give only on x axis and bring items into center so we can use mx auto margin from left and right are equal to auto and margin top and bottom auto we can use this one and top separately for right for bottom and for left let's start creating a div and just giving a style with the things that we have learned so far and use this padding and margin as well. So creating a div here, okay, with some content inside it, a paragraph, and then giving the class, a uh, height of, for example, about uh, auto, height will be auto, it means that it will just get uh, fit content, and a width of 40. Okay, let's save, uh, let's give it a background color as well, BG, for example, a lime, of 300 let's save it and check it out on the browser yeah we've got this one uh, so weight of 40 is a bit small we can use weight of 80 maybe yeah so this is somehow fine let's design a card type for our content or a section of our services so let's give a title as well for this h2 for example, we uh, our services web designing. So let's give it here. And uh, starting with the margin, I want to bring this in the center. So I can use margin left and right auto. So that is very easy. Margin on the x axis equal to auto. We give it to our div. So we can see that the item is already in the center. Again, if you just want to uh, give it a bit margin from the top, so you can use margin top, for example, 4. That is, here we got some extra space on the top. 
Coming to padding, uh, giving some padding because the text and the contents are uh, very close to the borders. So we give padding for the four uh, sides. Dash only p is used for the four sides. For example, two or three maybe. As you can see, uh, that is very good. Okay. Coming to the uh, web design, our title. Okay. Just uh, separating it a bit from the. Uh, extra details so give we can give this title uh, margin bottom or give this paragraph margin top so make it a bit uh, a wider place for our title just giving the class and margin on the y-axis from top and bottom so about two let's save it and see that we have a bit wider because now using our previous lessons for example one the font black or font bold okay then let's capitalize it not capitalize let's uh, use the uppercase type case for this okay web designing and bring it to the center of our card so that is uh, the class text center text center okay that is let's change the font uh, font serif font serif yeah web designing and make it a bit uh, large so text uh, like XL yeah. or 2XL and coming to our text coming to our uh, paragraph our details and giving a class uh, use it uh, the text justify to justify our text our paragraph oh god that is not Good. that is not looking good so let's get rid of the justification just let's make the padding a bit more padding two just change it to padding three object no if three is not looking good so we can make it four that is that is now this fine okay coming to the borders uh, how to change the borders of our cards we have different uh, like uh, classes for our borders so coming with the border width first if we, we have the border radius then we have border none uh, like rounded none if you want mm, the simple bore edges so we don't have to use even rounded none but if you want you can use it then we have rounded some we have rounded you can see the measures here if you want a bit more uh, radius or soft edge so we can use like rounded LG and we have the rounded full which will give us the circle type element for uh, different screens we can use different types of uh, even we can just customize each edge for example round rounded top the two top edges will be rounded and if we just take look down we have rounded B the two bottom edges will be rounded and the same way we have uh, rounded uh, top left top left this one will be rounded so we have different utility classes and you can use them so coming to our card and if you want full rounded so we can use rounded full let's say what we get this is like somehow we get a circle if the weight and height was equal so it was looking like a circle then we just with rounded we will have this much and if we customize we can just make it uh, rounded SM uh, SM is the lowest level you can see we have the Excel as well so uh, coming to fully customization let's let's round the top edges put the bottoms as they are so round it at uh, top for example lg and now you can see the top edges are rounded but the bottoms are not and if you want the bottom so you can just replace this t with the b for bottom and lg or xl for example let's refresh here now we have opposite of that we have the uh, bottom edges rounded and the uh, top edges uh, flat
so more customization is available for example if you want this to opposite edges to be rounded and this two and uh, not so we can use the rounded top left uh, about xl yeah we got this one rounded we can just change uh, rounded uh, bottom uh, right opposite of the uh, top left as well so you can see that we have this two this two opposites rounded and these two edges not rounded uh, we can use just more uh, like rounded to excel to make them a bit better and you can see this so uh, with the border giving border as a solid or dashed or like thick border we have different uh, like uh, properties or css classes border zero exactly for mm, no borders we have border two four add and we have to give border which will give it one px border simple border and we can just mention for each side separately our border if we want for example a thick border here and a thin border here so we can do that with Chalvin css everything is possible if we want uh, for example border on the top but not on the other sides we can you do that as well also let's just uh, do that uh, give it a border on the top for example border t and then uh, the thickness for example if you want four or two two four so we have a border on the top side we can give it a color border for example uh, red and uh, of 700 so you can see that we can design very different shapes and various types with the availability of this utility classes so we can change the thickness level for example we want it to be eight it is eight now now we have the style if you want it to be dashed so we can use the border dashed or if you want it to be solid so we can use the solid we have the dashed as well the dashed the double now it is dashed we have the double as well double border double now it is double and i think that simple was better so border just border that is fine uh, that's all for this video hope you got something and uh, please kindly subscribe and share my contents with your friends thank you very much in the next video we will learn about uh, other parts of the border for example if you want to create some uh, divide lines between our elements our list and many other things so stay tuned